Much like his campaign slogan and battle cry, the president urged the nation to come together even closer in true local community spirit or bayanihan. Likewise, he shared billing in the New Year messages of the First Lady and their kids and his vice presidents. The PTV's Alan Francisco sums up in this report. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. renewed his appeal for unity among Filipinos in welcoming the year 2023. President Marcos said in his New Year's message that he is with the Filipinos in welcoming 2023. The president hopes that the Filipinos will get strength and inspiration from the love of one another and the country. He said to overcome the test, the spirit of heroism must be cultivated. President Marcos is confident that with unity, the country will progress. At the same time, he said, the Lord's guide towards a more prosperous future for the Philippines. First Lady Lisa Marcos sent her New Year greetings to the Filipinos in a Facebook post with a photo on the entire first family. Meanwhile, in the latest vlog of President Marcos, Vice President Sara Duterte was with him to deliver good vibes to the viewers. 2023 na at dahil unang vlog natin ngayon taon ay super special. Ang guest naman natin ay si DepEd Secretary Vice President Sara Duterte. Happy New Year, Mr. President. Apo BBM. At syempre, Happy New Year po sa lahat ng nanonood. President Marcos said it was during the campaign when they last appeared in his vlog. Pagkatapos nun, ay dinidiretso ng trabaho. Kaya ngayon na lang muli. Naging busy man ang 2022, ay marami tayong dapat ipagpasalamat sa nakaraang taon. Ang biyaya ng pamilya, ng kalusugan, at syempre, ang pagkakataong makapag the president said the rise of the Philippines continues, with VP Sara adding that there should be continuous effort and cooperation. This new year, the two highest leaders of the Philippines wish for unity and development of the country. Ako, I always pray every day kapag naka-quiet time ako for a strong, successful, and stable Philippines. Ganun din, sana paganda ng paganda ang buhay ng bawat Pilipino. Nagkakaisa ang Pilipina para sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Yan ang aking pangarap para sa taon na ito. Sa pagpasok po ng 2023, ay wala kaming duda na ang ating pagka-Pilipino ang siyang magdadala sa anumang naisin nating marating. Basta patuloy ang pagkakaisa at pagmamahal sa bayan. Siguradong tuloy-tuloy ang ating pagpapag. The President and the Vice President also read the questions of some netizens. First question was, what is their personal New Year's resolution? Matulog ng mas mahabang oras. Paabutin ng 8 hours yung tulog. Huwag lang 5 hours. Halos ganun din kagaya ng kiinday. Talagang kailangan na matuto ko na magpahinga dahil nagkakasakit na. Hindi na dapat mangyari yun. On an even more personal level, I would like to spend more time with my family. Hindi na kami nagkikita eh. Nangimiss ko na sila. As for the question of what skills they want to learn this year, New skills to learn, uh, tutuloy ko yung aking uh, short course uh, sa psychology. Malapit na matapos yon ngayong February. Do skills, araw-araw marami akong natutunan sa trabaho ito. Abuti lang mahilig akong magbasa. Lagi akong nag-aaral ngayon. Sa awa naman ng Diyos, uh, nagagamit naman natin ang ating mga natutunan para hindi mapanis ang ating pag-iisip. For good vibes, the two officials were even challenged by netizens to become fortune tellers and predict each other. What do you think? Teka, buburuhin ko, magbubuhin ko muna, buburuhin ko muna yun. Kaya hindi, hindi, ko, hindi ko kailangan tignan ng palad nito. Kukunin ko ang kapalara niya sa pagkakakilala ko sa kanya. Alam mo, si Hinday at dahil ang puso niya, ina eh, puso ng ina. At nakikita ko yung puso ng pagka, yung puso ng ina, yun ang nagiging motivation niya para sa trabaho niya. Kaya sa palagay ko, eh, habang buhay na si Hinday Sara na nasa servisyo ng publiko. 
Those who watch the said vlog are happy to see that the government's campaign of reconciliation and unity is being started by the President and Vice President of the country, Alan Francisco, for the nation. Thank you.